Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to build our 65 ton double cycleway crate. So we start off with the base plate. If you're doing this on site, a level site is always easier. So get an old bit of ply or something and just lay it down. We take our base plate and then we take the outside walls. And the important thing here is here that the lugs are always on the outside. And you'll see it makes sense because there's a mitre on the corner. So we put our outside walls and tap them down. When you tap them down, tap them on top of the columns. As you can see, that's where the strength is. So it'll be pretty much impossible to break that if you tap that on the column. So then we put the next wall in and you always work clockwise because of the way the mitres work. You wouldn't do that one and then that one. You always work either clockwise or anti-clockwise, but you work sequentially. So then we take our next side in, just offer that up. Again, just a gentle tap. It's fairly easy to locate. I'm now gonna spin that towards me and put the inner walls in. For a 65 ton crate, you need two of these inner walls. So you put those into the two center locations. And we'll show you a close up in a minute just to make that a bit clearer. If you wanna make that into an 85 ton load or a real big commercial job, you just take another two inner plates and put those on the two outside that are left clear. But that's all there is to that. So it's a very versatile system. Finally, we put our last piece in and you can see the mitre there lines up with the corner piece. So we'll just tap that down gently into place. Now, if there is a fiddly bit, it's this bit. So we're putting our top plate on now to make our single. So what I tend to do is just pinch the mitre in on the corner just to make sure that that's exactly as you want it. Give that a tap down like that. So I've done an L shape there. I've gone from one corner to another corner. Now just use your hands to line up these center plates. And then when you're happy, that's right. Just give that a quick knock down. That's it, that's all lined up nicely. Once you've got the center ones in, the rest will follow suit. So you can just tap those down nice and gently just had to pull that one in because it wasn't quite lined up. So that's a single crate. And what we do to make that into a double, we just basically build straight on top of that. So I go through exactly the same process again. So again, make sure that my ribs are on the outside. And we start all over again. Might need to kneel up a bit to make sure I'm on top of this. So again, I'm just working my way around the square. Once you've done a couple of these, it should take you probably about three minutes to put a double together. Spin that round, put my inner walls in. Again, I'm only making a 65 tonne version here, which is the most popular of the heavies actually. 85 tonnes are only for the real big commercial projects. Put the two inner ones in. Put my last outside wall in place. Even got a train going by to actually make this more realistic. So finally we'll put the top piece on. And again, just pinch that corner in with your fingers. So I'm just going along that L shape. So along one wall, back along the other wall. I'm just gonna line those inner plates up again and make sure that I'm completely happy with those. Give those a tap down. Again, let's just hold that last one in to make sure it's in. That's it, give everything a good firm tap down with your mallet. This mallet comes as part of our one cubic meter cycleway set, so you don't have to go, go out and buy one. That's a 65 ton double crate put together. As you can see, that's not gonna come apart. That's nice and strong. And four of those makes up a cubic meter cycleway set. As we've seen today, these crates are really robust. They have to be, they have to withstand vertical pressures of 65 tonne or even 85 tonne if you put those two additional plates in. So provided you hit them in the right, right place, you're not gonna damage them. If you hit them in the wrong place, if your hammer slips, again, not really an issue if you make a slight crack on it, it won't affect the integrity of the soak away. 
if you have a real mare and you manage to smash it, give us a call, we do sell spare plates. So it's not a problem for us to get another one out to you and they're not particularly expensive. Whilst we're talking about expensive, value for money, we would always recommend you buy these self-assembly and put them, to, put them together yourself. Because if you're trying to shave a few quid off a project, this is a really easy way of doing it. As you've seen, only takes three or four minutes to put a crate together. You'll probably do a cycleway set in 12 minutes. So, you know, there's a meaningful saving for doing that. Hope that helps. Hope it's been of assistance today. If you do need any more help, give us a call. Take a look at the website. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.